Hey guys, it's Icyn here, and we are back at Iceopolis, where I've built this. Um, yeah, it's not much, it's, it's basically just water going down the pit, a little thingy poking out of it. But, I have a, a plan for this water going down to a pit with a thingy on over it, and that plan involves breeding harnesses. So, I gotta go, let's see, let's toss the scoured leather in here. The dung, I got a bunch of wood, or, there we go, cool. And I gotta go scour up four more of these leather. So what we are going to do is make some breeding harnesses and start getting some pig breed, or cow breeding going. Um, I need the scourer. Yield scour. I have all this, like, cut scoured leather and cut leather and everything, like, and cut, um... Uh, tanned leather, but I don't need those. I need the full hides. So, while we wait for that, I actually should probably get some wheat ground so I can make more sandwiches. Um, the chicken farm's still going fantastic. Wait, I don't want that to go yet. I just realized what I was doing. Um,. Yeah, I got a little bit more iron coming. I'm just kind of waiting for this. I haven't, I haven't done too terrible much. Um, ooh, more oysters. I got to empty out my mob trap soon. Eh, eh, I can't reach it from over there. Put that in there. Okay, cool. So, um, I guess one of my chickens died. I found that my chickens just occasionally die in there just from suffocation but it kind of works out because then I get there I get the you know the occasional chicken that I can eat and they kind of breed I get enough eggs from them that it's not really a big deal like their population still stay, staying positive so there we go got that tanned leather and I need some of this I forgot to grab shears okay let's go make some shears I'm pretty sure I melted down my last set so let's go grab more I really need to make this uh, base more accessible at some point, and less of a literal hole in the ground. So I think I'm going to start expanding things upward soon. Ooh, I should probably melt these leather pants into glue. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take off the pants so I don't break them. I mean, no sense in wasting the glue. Um, okay, so that's tanning up. Oh, I need more bark. Damn it. I should have checked that before I left. Okay, let's go get the bark. Bark, bark, bark. Um, this one? This one, okay. I'm still learning this. Let's grab a, like the, and eh, we'll grab all but one of the spruce bark. That works. And just toss it in the pit. I think I need to use the pig, the cows from down in this hole. That'll probably be better. But yeah, I decided to go with the um, pig or cow automation first. Simply, I'm going to sniff these individually. Oh, such a good sound. I love it. Simply because I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Oh, no, I need one more. I need two more leather. Damn it. Okay, let's go scour up a couple more leather. I only grabbed eight and I need ten. Um, there we go. But I'm going with the cows first so I can get more leather so I can make more books, basically. Because I want to have a really awesome Infernal Enchanter room. I have a couple ideas for it. Nothing concrete yet, but, you know, a couple ideas. I do need to move this grindstone because I do occasionally lose things. And I don't like that. Just the concept of losing any of them really bothers me. So we'll let these two get scoured. Um, this whole area here is probably eventually going to be basically completely re redone eventually mm, cook up bread delicious and my other scoured leather should be coming out perfect give me that bread I need to build up a layer of fat I haven't been doing that there we go so I don't have to munch as much while I'm running around my base I'll waste some of these ham and eggs to do so but, um, so with the cows, you know, because I have wheat, we can set up, 
I decided to just go straight for the, you know, more automated setup than last than I was planning on. Just because it's, eh. Why not, basically? So I'm going to need to get these guys out of here. Um, I have weed on me, which was accidental. I did actually mean to bring that with me, but I needed it anyway. So, hey. And here we go. So there's two breeding harnesses. Cool. So, oh, they're stuck because of the ladder. I think. Why are these guys stuck? Okay. So what I need to do is get a couple cows over here. And then we're going to slap a breeding harness on one. Go ahead and kill this pig. Oh, wow. I forgot about the effect that was going to have. And we're going to have to come behind this cow. Ew. Statement, I want to make sure I do my best never to repeat. It's going to make this wider. Let's come behind this cow and make it wider. Perfect. There we go. Same thing over here. And basically, I'm just looking to set up little platforms I can stand them on. Oh, no cow. Please don't fall down. There we go. Push him over on this side. And I fell in. <laughs> I thought the pig was going to be stuck down there, but no. No, not at all. Damn it. Um, that looks about good. So now we're going to chop this off. And leave him standing there. And now we're going to put the other cow right on this spot. And they should birth directly into the water. Uh, I should probably actually raise this up. I don't know if they can birth back here. I don't actually know the birthing range of a cow, which is yet another thing I didn't think I'd ever say. But we'll put that there just in case. So we need to get ourselves another cow who wants to... Okay, cow. Whoever comes here to meet... Whoever gets here first of the cows gets to live a life of never moving. There you go. You win the prize. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the rest of these guys to run away. That's really useful. So you get to, you won the, the prize of a life of never moving, having sex with another cow through telep telepathic means, and uh, eating all the time. So congratulations. You win the prize, I guess? I mean, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I need to get down there one more time actually um block this off doink 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 um I'd like put a torch up here okay okay get in there cow okay cool so there's that. Uh, let's go get our stuff from down here. And basically, the next step is we're going to have a pit here. And the cows are going to... Well, the babies should get stuck against this ledge here. Since they shouldn't be able to jump. And we'll test that out in just a second. Oops. Didn't mean to place two. But hey, it happened. It's uh, something we're going to have to live with. So let's go feed these guys and see how the baby situation happens. And we'll have a dispenser, obviously, to feed them normally. Oh, wow, that's super dark. Uh, that works. So what we're probably going to do is, like, I need to push him just the tiniest bit. There we go. Please don't push him too far. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll have dispensers that drop the wheat right here and here. Get out of here. You guys have got to be hungry. Can they not get the wheat from there? Oh, 
Okay, so it does have to, has to be the same block as them. They pop out a cow between them. Or cowlet, I think is what they're called. Whatever. I've decided they're called cowlets. Deal with it. We're obviously going to be moving these cocoa beans somewhere. Figure that out later. And the baby cowlet gets stuck down there. And eventually, when it grows up, it can jump over the ledge. And it does so. Cool. Um, do I want to try and push him again? Really afraid of pushing them too far. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't want to push that cow because he's close to the edge. He's just trying to be a cow and not lose his head. Um, so, actually, I don't need any of this. I don't know why I'm making it. But we do need some holes above these cows. So that's right here. So we'll need feeding tubes. Right there. Well, never get those back. And right here. And I'm going to dig a hole up here. And do the same over here. So we're going to have to make a cow feeding mechanism outside. Cool. So there we go. Well, let's go ahead and get those back. There we are. Get these stone bricks. And then once we have the feeding mechanism, the next step is going to be working on... Um, well, yeah, we have to get a feeding mechanism with a timer and all that jazz. Um... And then we can put a kill mechanism down there. We'll run this water over across the side and flow it in, put some saws down, and then just collect the delicious, delicious cow juicy bits. That was, uh, that was intense right there. Okay, so let's go find this cow hole. Ew. Once again, gross. I'm excited to get back, get into some automation here. The cow hole should be somewhere in this area, right? No, that's way too close. The water's coming down from here, so I think the cow hole's here? Yeah, here's my cow holes. Excellent. Okay. So. Yep. There is my cow holes. This one? which I'll mark with a cobble, and this one. Once again, marking with a cobble. Okay, cool. So I need to go get dispensers. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that roof was so close. Okay, well, covered. Cool. So let's go get some dispensers made. Um, I really should have made the redstone components before... I started recording, but I didn't. Whoop, once again. Didn't realize how close my base was there. Um, well, I'm definitely going to want these to be powerable, or like hopper, easily hopper droppable, I guess. I don't know if that, that wasn't correct English at the very least. I don't even know if it made sense. Um, right now I'm just trying to dig out an area so I can work in this even if it turns night. Um, let's go ahead and eat one of these delicious, delicious food bits. Um, let's go ahead and just put a roof on this baby. Okay. There we go. That looks much better. And we'll just put our mechanisms in this. Um, I have a strong suspicion that that pig came out of my home. Uh, I don't believe there should be many wild pigs around here anymore. But you know what? He lived. I'm going to let him live. Okay, so there's that. Let's just check this side.
That actually could have been terrible. There we go. Cool. So there's that. There's that. We're good there. Cool. So let's get back in the base. I'm actually just going to go ahead and pop down the water so I can collect all my goodies. Squish the cow, the baby cow over. Now he would not have been able to jump that himself. He only managed to get through because I pushed him. And I'm continuing to push him. It's fine. It's fine. He'll definitely be grown up before the kill mechanism is done. Okay. So. Would you like to go down there, pig? Go ahead. How did he get... Okay, cool. We're good. There's still pigs everywhere throughout my base. So I need some dispensers. Um... There's this cow just hanging out. It's what You know what? I'm done with him. Uh, what do I have redstone-wise pre-built? Where's my redstone container? One of these is for redstone-y stuff, isn't it? Or have I not? Yeah, here we go. Not much. I have and dispenser. Um, let's go ahead and make another one of those. So I need redstone. I got cobble. And I just need to go get me a bow. Which I should have... Ooh. I don't think you can use damage bows. I'm pretty sure you can't. But we're going to give it a shot. I'm 90% sure you can't. Um... Yeah, I didn't think so. So. Uh, we need this guy. Nope. Wrong bow. And everything we need is in here anyway. Cool. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice bow. Put that in there. Cobble it. Redstone. What? Oh, crap. Dispensers have changed. I'll be back. And we are back. So, yeah. They use latches now. I forgot about that. I don't know why I made eight of them. I think I decided that uh, repeaters needed latches as well. There we go. We got five repeaters. I need to make two more dispensers. Oh, so I need another bow, actually. But I got this sword, so I got two more iron. God, my gold farm needs to start working soon, because it is... I'm down to the wire on gold. I, I Well, not quite. I don't have that much gold, though. I definitely need some gold in my life. Um, these latches, what I'm going to do is hold on to them as latches for now, but I can always melt those down if I find I need, um, clocks more, because each of those, uh, repeaters is costing me, I need more redstone than that, I can't deal, do with just one redstone, or three redstone, each of those repeaters is costing me four gold nuggets. Uh, I also need to go mining for redstone soon, because I haven't really been using it, so I don't have much of it, because I just haven't been, you know, really searching. So that is on the list of things that need doing. Um, I have to say, it's also interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's not at all how you make those. I have to go to my anvil. Um, it's interesting how little I've been mining in general. Oh, uh, just no something I noticed. There we go. Oh, I probably should have done that. I could have done that to save on um, stone in the repeaters. But honestly, not that big a deal. It's not like I'm... I love that he's so focused on my cows, he's not attacking this pig. Which I should actually just go ahead and kill. Because he's not going to live out here alone. I might as well get the meat from him. So I'm not going to take the time to lure him back to base. Or back in. Uh, so. Wait. Where did that... There it is. I was about to say, where did the block I broke go? Okay. So. We got to put... Some dispensers here. Doink. And doink. And we'll put this torch up here. Uh, I'll go ahead and make that into stone brick. 
Okay, so there is my dispenser set up. Good. Let's go ahead and put a piece there so I don't die. Um, and I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is dig out paths here. Because I know I'm going to be laying redstone on this. And I like laying redstone on the stone brick so I know not to dig it up. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead and pop this guy here. Um, and we want to get this one. So what I want to do is put some redstone running to these. I can actually probably just move this whole thing closer, like right here, to conserve. Um, we'll put the pressure plate here. So now every time I hit that, it'll spit a wheat to each of them. Um, and we're going to put... We need a couple of those okay let's think this one through i know how to make these it's just been a while uh well let's go ahead and replace that i need to put a dispenser oh like oops i need to put a dispenser like here-ish and then I need to run another line out here. There we go. And have that run into a torch. Oops. Run into a torch, which runs into a block, which runs into a torch. Wait, will that work? I don't know. I can't remember if dispensers can be or if they can be powered like that. Yes, but I brought the wrong kind of pressure plate because I'm dumb. Okay, so that'll work. So what we're gonna do is put a bunch is put a bunch of dirt in there. We'll go get some more dirt and everything. And it's a basically it's a vanilla five minute timer. Okay. So we need to go get a wooden pressure plate. I don't I didn't think that one through. Quite honestly, I only used stone because I had it on me. And I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. I specifically need something that's triggered by items. Okay, so do I have any wood down here? Or do I have to run and get some? Mm. And that, my friends, is the, like, absolute laziness. There we go. And there is that pressure plate. The kicker to that laziness is I have to go to my storeroom for dirt anyway. Okay. So. While we're here. Oh, uh, wait. I need dirt. What am I doing? Dirt. There we go. That looks good. Um... And redstone stuff goes here. So let's put this pressure plate back. And I had more pressure plates. Wow. I'm so good at this game. Um, I need hoppers. That's this one? Ugh. I only have one built right now. I'm going to have to run power out there anyway, so I'll hold off on the hoppers. But I'm going to have hoppers on top of the dispensers. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to power it. Honestly, I might just windmill power the whole thing. Because if the saw blades stop while it's raining, I'll just put a, you know, a detector up there. If the saw blades stop while it's raining, it's really not that big a deal. It's not like, you know, oh no, I need my automated cows to work at this exact moment or everything's going to go to hell. So... I'm not too worried about it. What we need to do there is toss one in. There we go. And see if I can pick that up without picking up the dirt. Perfect. 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 Okay. Now when that despawns, it will lift off and shoot another dirt down. And we can go ahead and bring these kind of up here. 
what I basically just want to do here is make it so these are accessible from the outside. I think the tops of these. Because that's where I'm going to be putting my... Um, uh, you know, hoppers and everything. And obviously I can't get into there to put the powering on it yet. But this is just to remind myself where they are. More or less. And we'll dig through there to power it later. So there's my... Oh, wait, can I? Yeah, I, I can definitely do that one. Cool. And there's my three holes that I have to fill. Wow. The phrasing on that one was so good. Um, let's go ahead and... Ugh, it's going to bother me knowing... There we go, perfect. Cool. Um, well, we need to make it one wider over here now. I don't have the stone on me. Great. We'll fix it later. So there's those three. We'll put hoppers on each of those. And then we can just basically come up here and we'll build a house around it to fill up these. One with dirt for, or, you know, whatever trash blocks. And uh, the other two with wheat. So that should work pretty well. I'm excited. It's our first step towards some kind of automation. So, while we're thinking about wheat, let's go check our farm. Um, and I think maybe we take a look at this water source so we have over here. Mm, it wouldn't take too many screw pumps, which is nice to bring this up and make a farm up here that could feed into these automatically. Though we shouldn't use wheat. Oh wait, I was about to think. I was, I was thinking wheat seeds. We can make we can make some cells, or honestly, once we get the um, I always forget that planters don't need water. Once we can get planters going, we can make a couple wheat pods. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, until then, we've got our wheat farm over here. And that'll just do it for us for now. So let's go ahead and harvest. I need my seeds to be in this slot. And we are coming out ahead on the wheat seeds. Fantastic. Um, so let's see how many wheat seeds we get. And then we'll decide which of the hemp to blow up. So as I said, I'm, I'm just not going to keep hemp here. I'm going to make a nice big hemp farm somewhere soon. Honestly, I need to get hemp to a point of automation. And since that's just pistons, that's not... Oh, cool, I didn't break it. I was really expecting to break it by jumping there. Since we can do that with pistons, it's not too big a deal. I use pistons just to knock the tops off. Um, and honestly, I was thinking about this. Would it If I was making a sugar cane farm... Would it really be too big a deal to just do a occasional timer as opposed to a reactive system? Like, I mean, unless it decided to try and grow at the exact moment that the... I thought I saw another weed over here. Oh, here it is. Unless it decided to grow at, like, the... tried Decided to try and grow at the exact moment that the um, sugar cane was growing or like going to grow its top, sorry, that the sugar cane was being harvested, that, you know, the pistons were out, it wouldn't really slow down growth, would it? I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you know the answer to that. Um, I got five more seeds. Let's just go ahead and break the rest of this row. There we go. And one more. So we'll go break one more. Oh, wow, more wheat grew. Okay, that puts us at two more. Let's break these. There we go. Cool. So now we have another 35 wheat. Fantastic. Which I'm going to use half of that for the cows. That'll bring us up to 20 breeding cycles. So we're going to have a nice chunk of cows. Um, oh, so close. I'm one block away from being able to do that by hand. We'll just leave those two blocks out until I get the hoppers there which as I said I'm gonna have to bring hoppers over because if I don't you know 
I'm gonna have to bring power over and then we'll set up the hoppers at the same time. That'll work pretty well. Cause I had to bring hop uh, power over for the saws. I'm thinking about just bringing it from there over. Cause I mean, I can easily just, I have to bring, bring it back down cause I did harvest all that, but that'll be okay. Let's go look inside, take a look at our work. And see how everything's looking in here. Um, well, they haven't been fed yet, obviously, since... Yeah, the baby grew up. We got another cow down there in the pit. Uh, which we will eventually turn this pit into a kill chamber. Um, as I said, we're going to bring the water around the side. Probably narrow this down to two wide. We'll put some vine traps. Though, actually, I don't... We'll keep... Hey. Get out here, cow. Oops. I don't know. We'll see if we need to put the vine traps. If we don't... I just want to, I want to leave a stone break down there. Let's just leave a dirt. I don't know. We'll see if we have to do the um, vine traps or not. We'll see how they react. And then um, we'll put some saws in a collection. So that's going to be fantastic. But I think that's going to end it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to like and comment. It really does help out the, uh, help me out. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit subscribe. And as always, have a fantastic day.